me three years with chronic fatigue immune dysfunction syndrome. It was miserable. And the knowledge that I got two years ago completely changed that. Diet. So I've already taken out the chemicals from my house. I'd already been toxic free for over 14 years. I thought I was eating a good diet. <laughs> Boy, I was wrong on that one. I thought I was doing good because I was working out two to three times a week teaching my classes. But I was doing it in the evening, so I was doing more damage to my body. Then when I stopped teaching and I just kind of did nothing because I was in so much pain, the pain increased. The pain got so severe that I couldn't walk like a normal person. It would take probably about 10 to 15 steps before I could feel like I wouldn't fall down or that my knees would give out or that I just had enough strength to hold me up. I couldn't step up a step. One step, couldn't step up it. Couldn't climb in my Jeep. I was sick, very, very sick. For my 50th birthday, I had a dance party. And I couldn't even really dance. I tried, because I wanted to, but I couldn't. And that was my changing moment. When I couldn't dance at my 50th birthday, and I had tried everything, I had been to every doctor, been on so much medication that just made me sick. And I reached out to an amazing person, Lauren Fitzgerald, who at the time was just a beach body coach. She was an anesthesiologist who stopped her practice, stopped doing medicine to just be a beach body coach. And during her time that I was with her, she found the love and passion to be a functional medicine doctor. And so I followed with her this whole time on this journey, but I took her knowledge, because her coach happens to be the great Melissa McAllister, who has created the Maid Diet. Yeah, check out the Maid Diet. And this diet, this Maid Diet, combined with the Nope Diet, and moving every day, all I could do was cat, cow, and child's pose every day. And I had to be held accountable. I had needed pictures sent in to Lauren every Monday. And that alone, just taking pictures in a bra and, and little shorts, was, yeah, it was kind of humiliating. I, I didn't like myself. I was not enough then. I did not feel that I was enough. And so those changes started happening in my body when I started following things. The weight just fell off because it was amazing. And I wrote many blogs on the topics of how the weight was falling off, what was happening in my body, because when I would learn something, I would write a blog on it. And then, see, um, I guess, yeah, it was about 10 years ago. <clears throat> I'm not for sure. I have to look back on the exact amount of days. I mean, years ago, but my husband and I took a 30-day sabbatical. And during that time, uh, and I'm not saying away from each other, I'm saying away from sex. And it was got led by God, was not easy. But during that time, we found Deepak Chopra, and his meditations. And we fell in love with meditating with his talks and his words and his music that he would play in the background that every night we would listen to that and we would just join together without joining together. And we connected on a soul level. And that right there started our path to our our book series, God Made Sex. Yes, I said it. I'm putting it out to the world. God made sex, and it is good. But the sex of the world, that's not, that's not what God intended. He wants to be a part of it. God is love. Oh, wow, God is love. And when you connect, with God 
and then with your lover? That mindset, that, that learning from Deepak that you can change your mind. And then Joe Dispenza really came big in my life. And then guess what? Marissa Pierce showed up just at the right time. My kids just graduated from school. I didn't have anyone to <clears throat> teach. I really didn't have anyone to, that needed me anymore, so I just jumped head, head first into studying. And when I got my health back from getting my nutrition right, I could study. Because when I was sick, I couldn't. All those years, those 23 years, I couldn't really focus on studying. Everything I learned would just go away. I, what they called brain fog. Um, it just wouldn't stay there. And so getting the toxins out of my system, getting my hormones in balance, that right there got my brain clear. And I do take a supplement. I take a bunch of mushrooms that helps with that too. Um, but because I could study and I found RTT and it fascinated me because I always wanted to be a therapist. See, we have our ministry, Body of Christ Ministries, and we, do, we did a lot of counseling with individuals, but I wanted to help more. I wanted to be able to give more. And that's exactly what God gave to me. He gave me RTT, literally landed right in my lap at the right time. And I went to school full time. Full time. I started oh, <laughs> Yeah. I started last April. Yeah, I signed up the end of last April. Went full time, graduated in December. And the lives that I've already changed are incredible. And I can't wait to change more lives. So I wish I would have start with the mindset. I wish that I would have found Marissa Peer years ago when I was 19, 20. I wonder what decisions I would have made, what life choices I would have changed. I don't know. But what I do know, 100%, is that I'm taking advantage of it right now. So it doesn't matter how old you are. Start now. Bare minimum. Remember what I just said? Bare minimum. Get the book. I am enough. Mark your mirror by Marissa Peer. And if you want to work with me, you really want to be free, free from addiction, free from self-hate, free to love yourself and be enough, make an appointment. I would love to help you. Welcome to my world. It's a beautiful place to be.